He has been in office for the past 766 days. Our very own deputy president or former deputy president, Jivadi Gashagwa, is finally out of the government. And he, I don't feel like he's going to take it lying down. I think he's going to go to judiciary and like try to fight this out. But guys, what do you think? What do you, th do you think this is a witch hunt? Do you think it's fair that this guy was actually thrown out of government just like that? Do you feel like and resign so that he can have a political career or was it okay for him to go all the way because i feel like he had a really 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 strong strong lawyers and the lawyers who really lawyers who really fought for him lawyers who really made sure that his case was hard so right now as he lies in the hospital bed going through something that only him and his family and God knows. Do you even think that he's actually sick? Because some people are saying that this guy, this is a stunt that many politicians pull when they feel like they're being, they are being, you know, cornered or something. Do you feel like he's actually sick? Do you feel like Ruto was so unfair for to accept going on with this, uh, this whole impeachment hearings yet the person who was being impeached is in the hospital do you feel like ruto is actually beating a man who's already down yeah the man who's already beaten a man who's already overwhelmed depressed stressed and call, call it any name that you want do you feel like he's being He's, how can I call? I don't know. Do you feel like he's being quite unfair to do this to this man? Because I feel like it has been a norm in Kenya. It has been a norm in Kenya whereby people choose their running mates. And then when they have already been, when they take the government, then they start being, uh, they start being at loggerheads. They start not uh, really being in the same page, they do not work together, wananza kukosana here and there. It has become a norm. I think I, I think that's a norm because you remember the same same Ruto with Uhuru they had an issue. The same same time that Kibaki was there they had an issue when uh, when Raila came in. It it is always they never really finish this whole term well. They never really understand it really not understand they never really work together to the end they always have issues they always have logger an issue a bond it's always a, a there's always something let me just say there's always something that is happening between them but i feel like ruto is not uhuru because I feel like what Rigadi Gashagwa, what Ruto is accusing Rigadi Gashagwa of, it's the same same thing that Uhuru was accusing Ruto of. But Uhuru never sacked Ruto. Uhuru never wanted Ruto impeached. He protected his political career. He protected everything that he had worked for. He protected everything he had worked for for years. Yet Ruto did not even blink twice when he thought of impeaching his own deputy president. And it's very, I feel like it's very unfair. I could have just let him finish his term and maybe not choose him in the next term if he ever gets one because the sister are also out here making sure he doesn't. So guys, what do you think? Because I feel like Ruto is quite unfair. He's, he has beaten a man who is already down because you remember the, he asked for forgiveness and he was never forgiven. And it's it's really a lot. There's a lot going on. And remember, we are, we, are, we are just normal Kenyans. There are people who are in politics, people who are in government, people who really understand what is happening behind the, the scenes. There's a lot we don't know. You remember the time they went to the National Assembly and, they were, and other politicians were saying they were paid money so that they, they, they could agree to the motion of impeaching Grigadi Gashagwa. So a lot of money has been used. Let me, let me just say that. Like a lot of funds has been used to this course. And they also remember the time there was um, the public participation in Bomas where there was a lot happened and our very own able president Morara Kebaso was beaten. The, there's a lot that happened. There's, there's a lot of things that happened because those goons that beat up our president were, were said to be from a certain party that is already in government right now. So what do you think? So back to Rigadi Gashagwa. What do you th how does do you think he feels right in the hospital but his his uh, boss is already firing him he's not even waiting for his health to be okay do you even think he's is actually sick do you think that he's actually
or is pretending because I remember this also a time uh, when Mike Sonko was going through impeachment so, uh, a, a certain uh, something like this happened at that time Ali pretend I could pretend but he got sick and so I really don't know if the, it's the stress that is pushing people to their to, to sick beds or it is uh, people being overwhelmed and they just want to run away from reality I don't know if it is it's, I don't know what do you people think Hapa kuna kuanga na maugonjo au ma people just What do you think? Because regarding as is the shortest serving vice president yet in Kenya. He has served he has served in 700 in, within 6 766 days and is already out. Uh, this morning we heard that Kithura Kindiki has been nominated. Guys, what do you think about this whole thing? Because me na feel two vitus in I feel like these people are already prepared for everything, and they knew that this guy was going to be thrown out. They they had already known who they are going to put to to nominate after that. Kithura Kindiki is going to be our next vice president. Muna jokwa nini? Because watu anataka. Kitu in a, in a, in a, in a very hasty way. There's no way. Akuna vitu mingi zitafanyika. So whoever was going to be chosen, which is now, as per now, we know is Kithure Kindiki. Even if he has a tainted past, he has a tainted way of, uh, of leadership, he's going to be chosen. And I feel like the government, Ruto, has to choose someone who really understands how the government works so that they do, we, they do not expose what the government is the government is doing. So right now, guys, our very own vice president or former vice president is in the hospital, ailing to God knows what, maybe stress, maybe depression, or maybe, 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 we don't know, but Kidure Kindiki is, going, is, is our nominated vice president, and Kenya is wondering what next. What do you think is next for Rigathi Gashagwa? Do you feel like Rigathi Gashagwa is going to judiciary, is going to fight this in court? Do you feel like he has the strength to do that? Do you feel like he's been uh, judged unfairly? Because I feel like the Mount Kenyan people are now are, are now up. They have, they have noticed that this govern, government doesn't want them or doesn't really uh, want them to have a pact in the government. And, and what are you doing? That's the word.